with a get ready with me and this is for the mature crowd that's like in my age group 50 and above this is for that lady that wants that no makeup makeup look okay and honestly it's going to be very very light makeup and it's going to be quick now i am going to use a skin tint in this video and i know when you're thinking skin tint you might think that it's a little it could be a little dewy or whatever but this one is actually the one by beauty blender and this is it right here and for this one it's a little bit i wouldn't say it's matte but it doesn't keep my skin as hydrated as I would like it to be and that's why I have on if it looks like my face is oily that's why I have on I prepped my skin really well I've used serum by go pure hydrate and smooth serum this is it right here all right and for my moisturizer I have the fresh black tea advanced moisturizer I typically like to use this one at night because it's thick but I'm using this one because again I want my skin to be really hydrated so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the tint. This one has uh, niacinamide in it as well as some uh, other good ingredients. I'm just kind of shaking it up before I put it on. And I don't put a lot of it, well, I try to cover up my hyperpigmentation. You can see it right here and right here. So I try to, you know, get a handle on that because even though this is a tint, you know, to me, it's got it's got some of the better coverage than some of the other tints that are out there. And I'm just gonna lightly go over my face, but around my mouth, I am going to put a little, a little bit more. Okay. And you can do the same when you're doing it. If you don't have a lot of blemishes or acne or any problem areas, you don't have to, you know, do the most. Especially like if you're pressed for time and trying to get to work and things like that. So, and I do have darkness around my eyes. I don't have a lot of it, but I do have some. Uh, I am going to put just a little concealer doing a little highlighting okay all right for a little bit of glow not highlight but for a little bit of glow i'm going to use this element super fluid it's a three in one it has a primer a glow aspect to it and a moisturizer and this is it so the way that i normally do it is i just put a little here a little here right okay and then I take my brush and just kind of add it like that. And I kind of like it up there a little bit and a little bit on my nose. Just a little bit. Okay, so do you see that? And even though it's uh, looking glowy, this is going to dry down um, to probably a radiant type of look. I am going to use a concealer. I like this concealer from um, Moore's, M-O-I-R-A. This is it. And I'm just gonna put some here and just to kind of address the, the darkness under there. Now, if you've seen any of my older videos, you all know that I can do the most with the highlighting. But this is just, this video is just to show you how quickly you can get in and out, okay? even with doing a little bit of highlighting because um, if you don't put a lot of product, it'll blend out pretty fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this out, okay? And again, the only reason that I'm using it is to further address uh, some of the darkness that I feel as though I have, um, okay? And I am going to set this with just a little bit of powder. And that's just to prevent creasing. I found that uh, this particular concealer does have good coverage, but the creasing is atrocious. So, yeah. And that's it. See how quickly that blended out? Okay. So I'm just gonna go back in with the brush that I use for my tint and go around that. Okay and just kind of make sure I blend out all the lines. 
All right, and I'm gonna get my powder. I'm gonna use my uh, Charlotte Tilbury powder, and I'm going to set the concealer under my eyes. And it shouldn't be too bright because this particular powder is uh, close to my skin tone. And actually, everywhere that I put the powder, that's the only place, excuse me, everywhere that I put the concealer, that is the only place where I'm going to put powder. I'm not putting it anywhere else because, like I said, this tint, to me, it's too dry. It's too dry. When I first got it, I tried it and I was like, oh my goodness. But I wasn't surprised because of how Beauty Blender's uh, previous foundation, um, the, uh, how matte and full coverage that was. So yeah. Okay. And then I am going to fill in my brows just a little bit. I have this little brow blade by Urban Decay. <laughs> I'm just going to fill in my brows a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not going to do the most. You know that I can do the most. But this is for the lady that doesn't want to have on any makeup. She doesn't like to wear makeup. But she wants to wear just a little bit. Right? Okay. Just a little. You see that? It's just a little. Alright. And I'm going to get me some mascara. Alright. I'm not going to add any eyeliner. I'm just going to do mascara. And you, you can pretty much see that my lashes are non-existent. But that's okay. I'm still going to add it. I'm going to add me some mascara. Okay. But no eyeliner. I don't want that. And I'm only going to do the top. Okay. Because I want to keep this as natural looking as possible. Okay. And I apologize about the light going in and out. It's still early where I am and the sun is just going in and out, in and out. So it's probably going light, dark, dark, dark light. Okay. And then for lipstick, okay, I'm just going to do a gloss and I'm going to use a Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in sepia. Uh-oh. And it's a little darker than what I wanted, but it'll be all right. Now, if you want to do um, extra and put on bronzer, you know, darken it up here and, you know, do all of that. If you got time, go ahead and do it. I'm not going to do it for this look because I'm actually on my way out of the house. And this right here, the part that I left that I did not set, like right along here and here, that's where... You know, I want that radiant part. And if I put powder on it, it's just not going to do anything. So that's pretty much it. Short and sweet. Let me know. Are you want to kind of do a full face of makeup? Or do you like those no makeup makeup looks? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until my next video, smooches.